71-69 win over New Mexico. Last week, BYU senior forward Timo Saarlainen muscled his way to score 26 points, keying a 66-60 BYU victory over Hawaii. And today, these talented players will lead their teams in an important Western Athletic Conference showdown. Stay tuned as the Lorimar Sports Network presents the WAC Game of the Week. Today's game is brought to you by Coors Light, so turn it loose tonight. By Western Airlines, count on us. By Gillette, makers of Right Guard. You work hard, you need Right Guard. And by the U.S. Army, a place to be all you can be. KTBC TV Sports 4 El Paso presents live minor basketball. The first half of today's game is brought to you by Village Inn, Airway Dodge, the M Banks, Southwestern General Hospital, Safeway, Tony Lama, Coors Beer, and Gilcrest Jewelry. Welcome to the Sun City of El Paso, Texas. And welcome to the special event center on the campus of the University of Texas at El Paso for this afternoon's Western Athletic Conference game between the league leading UTEP Miners and the Cougars of Brigham Young University. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Gallup along with Irv Brown and this is a big game for both of these teams, Irv. Of course, this is the last home game for the Miners who lead the league and BYU almost has to win them all to have any chance at the title, don't they? Well, you said it exactly. BYU must win their next five. The Miners go on the road for four tough games. They must win today, and I'll tell you something. These two clubs, when they get together, it's always interesting. BYU's a very good road club, Gary. BYU had a tough loss at New Mexico on Thursday night. How will they react coming into this one, do you think? I saw that game. It was a tough loss. They were up six points. They had the basketball, a minute 11 left to go. That's the big question. Can they bounce back? I think the key are their guards. Their guards have played well on the road all year long. Let's talk about some of the matchups in today's ball game. First of all, for UTEP, at a guard will be Lester Goodwin, their leading scorer. Well, this is the guy they call a pony, and Gary, he can flat shoot from the outside. BYU packed it in against New Mexico with that zone Thursday night. You really can't do that with this guy. He will hurt you from the outside. Good ball player. UTEP has been good inside this to, this year also because Dave Feidel is probably having his best year. You know, he's amazing. Every time he's on the two, we saw him last year against Indiana. He was sensational. He was tremendous against New Mexico two weeks ago. He played very poorly up in Provo in this first ball game. He's got to do a job today. And for BYU, the bread and butter man all year has been Timo Saralainen. You know, it's going to upset a lot of people, but he is the best I have seen at BYU, and they've had so many great ones. But Saralainen is an NBA-type player right now. He can shoot it from the outside. He can go inside. Plus, he's always getting fouled. He was sensational against New Mexico. He had 41 points. All right, we're glad that you're with us, and we'll be back for the starting lineups of today's game between the Miners and the Cougars right after this timeout. Special Events Center in El Paso, Texas. I'm Gary Gallup along with Irv Brown and a special ceremony has just concluded honoring the three seniors for the University of Texas at El Paso as they receive the standing ovation, Lester Goodwin, Kent Lockhart, and Donnell Allen. Here are the starting lineups for this afternoon's ball game. At forward will be number 33, Timo Saralainen, the league's leading scorer, averaging 23.8 points a ball game. For the UTEP Miners, Juden Smith, a 6'6 junior out of New Orleans, averaging 12 and a half points and seven rebounds per contest. For BYU, a 6'9 freshman out of Utah, that'll be Alan Pollard out of Orem, Utah, averaging eight points. Darnell Allen, a 6'8 forward out of Jackson, Mississippi, one of the seniors honored earlier today here in the Special Events Center. For the BYU Cougars, Tom Knighting, a 6'10 sophomore, will be at center. He's out of Lewiston, Idaho, Knighting averaging seven points a ball game. Here's Dave Feidel, the big 6'11 junior out of Tucson, Arizona, having a great year for the Miners, averaging 13 and a half points. And for BYU, at a guard will be number 10. That will be Marty Perry, a 6'1 senior out of Hanover, Indiana. And for the UTEP Miners, also wearing number 10, Buster Tony Goodwin, a 6'1 senior out of Houston, Texas. The Miners' leading scorer, averaging 15 points. At the other guard for BYU, Scott Sinek, a 6'2 senior out of Fullerton, California. He's averaging 11 points a ball game. And finally, for the Miners, it will be Kim Lockhart, a 6'5 senior out of Palo Alto, California, at a forward spot. 
Anderson, the coach of the BYU Cougars, as we look at him. And Don Haskins, the Bear, the University of Texas at El Paso, will be back for the opening tip-off right after this timeout. 